and his visit to England, and he is with us this morning. Mr. McCormick, good morning. Good morning. Now, the Church of England has hired you. Um, why did they make this decision? Well, I think uh, when the Pope visited uh, um, Ireland a couple of years ago, it cost the uh, Irish Catholic Church something like uh, a million pounds for the visit. And uh, I think the, um, uh, the Church felt that uh, since so many people were doing so many things to make money in conjunction with that visit, and since the Church lost a million pounds, uh, they felt that when he, the Pope visited England this year later on, that they'd like to, um, or next year rather, they'd like to try to get some money, control the activities around the visit, and... Uh, All the souvenirs and things like that? Everything like that, yeah. Now, is this the first time that they've done something like this? Yes, it is. Um, and, um, but I think it certainly makes sense. It, it, they're expecting it to cost something like six or eight million dollars uh, for the three visits to Wales, Scotland, and England uh, in 82. Now, what will you do to try to make some of that money back? How do you go about promoting or selling, basically, this, the Pope's visit? Well, what we'll try to do is to uh, work with the church to develop some um, uh, ideas, which will be tasteful, which will be high quality, uh, which might be commemorative items uh, about the tour. Uh, Spode China, for example, is doing a, uh, a China uh, pattern uh, involving the papal visit. Uh, silver plates, uh, uh, publishing, souvenir programs, things of that kind, where uh, some monies can be generated which will help defray these immense costs. Yeah. Is it. You say in, in good taste, and that's got to be an obvious you know, criticism all the time. Is it a give-take? I mean, do they give you suggestions? Are things turned down? Well, we wouldn't uh, dream of uh, doing anything that uh, would be in bad taste. And, uh, of course, an awful lot of people are approaching the church uh, all the time with ideas for this and that, and we're in constant meetings with them in Great Britain uh, uh, about uh, various ideas and suggestions. You're basically going to be giving a trademark to or allowing these companies to do things with you. What's to stop any businessman from going out and doing something on his own and selling it? Well, we have indeed filed uh, trademarks uh, in Britain uh, involving the papal visit. Um, uh, and I think uh, it'd be very difficult to stop somebody from um, man manufacturing some T-shirts and selling them on the street corners uh, because by the yeah. time you stopped them, the Pope would have been gone. <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, we think that uh, it's been so widely publicized that there will be some official uh, trademarks and some official uh, licensed items uh, that we think will discourage most of the pirates, so to speak, and that uh, it'll all be kind of done in a high-quality way. You say it will cost about six to eight million dollars. Do you think you'll get that much money back? Well, we certainly hope to get a lot of it back. Uh, I think that uh, uh, the, pr uh, the costs really involve uh, uh, making it possible for a million people to attend a mass uh, in safety, uh, hear the sound, uh, and uh, uh, all the transportation and jets and the helicopters for the uh, papal sure. party, etc. What kind of things do they have they asked for you to do? Well, they're very anxious that we do everything in as uh, high a quality way mm -hmm. as possible. Uh, they obviously would like to have um, uh, the items associated with the visit, um, as I say, being good value for the dollar, so the people that are there can uh, um, be very pleased with, which, which, with what they purchased. Have you met the Pope yet? No, never have. I'd love to sometime. I'm just curious, and if I may ask, how much does a company like yours make from a project like this? Well, just how as do you in determine something like well, that? we operate on a percentage basis with the church, and uh, on the basis of the monies that they receive, uh, just as we would with our other clients. Do you think that this will be something where the Church of England will retain you from now on to do things like this, or is this, you know, specifically this visit to England? Well, this is specifically for this visit to England. Although we are talking uh, about one or two other projects at the present time as well. Uh, is the Pope expected to come to the United States again? Is he, do you hear any talk? In other words, are you having meetings with the church to well, talk about these uh, things? Well, we've been talking with him about a lot of other ideas, yeah. but I'm not aware of any uh, plans uh, for another United States visit soon. Is it, it isn't really necessary to meet the Pope, is it not, to, to get some of these things, these ideas? I mean, you, probably, you might not meet the Pope. That is very possible that I won't, but I, I admire him so much I'd certainly like to. You are Catholic yourself, right? I was baptized a Catholic, yes. And do you think that had something to do with them choosing your company? No, they never asked. Nothing and, uh, at all, no, really? Never, you don't think that they were aware of that? No, I'm positive they weren't aware of it. Really? In fact, it only came out in some of the publicity uh, after the, uh, our arrangement with them was announced. All right, well, good luck on it. Well, thank you very much. Okay. We're going to be back in our next half hour. We're going to be talking with Beverly Sills. She recently visited mainland China, and she was uh, studying with a lot of students there, opera. We'll talk to her about that trip. We'll be back.